Good afternoon. It is June the 9th, 2017. Time to wrap up today's trading. Take a look at Monday morning, Globex opening Sunday night. We'll start with a disclaimer. Hypothetical or similar day performance results have certain limitations. Unlike an actual performance record, similar results do not represent actual trading. Also, since trades have not been executed, the results may be under overcompensated for the impact, if any, of certain market factors, such as lack of liquidity. Simulated trading programs in general are also subject to the fact that they're designed with the benefit of hindsight. No representation is being made that any account will or is likely to achieve profit or losses similar to those shown. What a day! Yesterday we had all sorts of stuff. Um, Potentially, it could move the market. Uh, Theresa May lost her majority in Parliament. She short four seats. She formed a government with a Northern Ireland something, which had five seats. So that put her back as a majority. So she's back in business, or she's asked to be back in business, ready to go. Uh, Brexit is still, looks like it's going to proceed. And we'll see if it does. Um, Comey's testimony once again showed that um, all these stories about Trump and Russia are just, it's fabulism. They're just fables. They're made up. Um, and the leadership, both parties of Congress, knew that co uh, Trump was not under investigation. Yet, the Democrat or the opposition party played that he was under investigation, etc. So, it's just, it's hard to know what to believe out of D.C. anymore. So if it's good news, uh, we should probably question it. If it's bad news or if it's a Trump on attack, a Trump attack, we should probably question it, too. It's just it's the way it is right now. Um, we had a good day trading, nonetheless. Um, came in on the E-mini today. We liked the long side first. This trade was a winner. Right here is your first legitimate short. So getting involved here or here or here or here. All of them were winning trades, and this market is fun to trade when they allow it to sell. Uh, because we like the long side first, we have to move quickly when we get our first buy signal. So this one had you long at 35.50. The market traded to 43.50. So you got your six points. Uh, this trade getting short here or here was a nice big trade. Mean green trade. Positive. Retest failure. S. Positive. And here's your wipeout. And three bars. Back here, take out that bars high right there. And somebody's going to at least cover their shorts. And that's what we saw. So... We were on the right side of the market early. Um, our software got us on the uh, right side of the market uh, when it started to sell and kept us there, which is always nice. Okay, the E-mini, an outside day. Uh, that's trading range tomorrow. All right, and Globex or Monday, excuse me, not tomorrow. Okay, we expect the market to top in the E or F period on the AM session. At a high in D, the knee, we get lower air, we get a move out of the middle in G period. And boy, it's off to the races, just straight down. And um, we hit 12 before the uh, selling was over. That's a 40 point day. Uh, those are pretty unusual in the E mini. Um, and right here, we're coming out at 24.25. No news on Monday, so if the market were to close right here, we'd be selling 29s, 31s. Back to our 34, 36 for sell two. On the buy side, 20, 22, and 15 to 13 for buy two. You'll find a piece of paper to write this down with. Big day trading today. Um, uh, crude really treated us well. In fact, we had three trades in the last half hour that we called. Limit buys and limit sells, and all three of them gave us a nickel. And one of them gave us a dime, if you had more courage than me.
a good day trading and everybody should have made their business plan or could have let's put it that way outside day in the 10 year trade it uh, B not much in the way of a comeback we have the three in the 10 year on Monday so I don't I think we may have made a low right here I think we'll see a higher low in Globex definitely have a seller at 2620 to uh, 127 even and it looks like we've got a buyer below eight we had a four to eight buy this morning and the low happens to be five so we really caught that well on the 10 year um, so right now five to nine by one and uh, 29 to 01 by 2. Everybody expects an interest rate increase by the Fed. 15 to 19, sell one on Wednesday. We'll see if that happens. Sell two, 23 to 27. Looking at the 30 year, and I hope everybody is having fun doing this. I know it gets a little bit of frustrating, but now how many times do you see me get my knuckles wrapped in the room and uh, have trades? So it's just it just is a part of it. You just can't let it bother you. First resistance eight to twelve, selling 15s to 19, sell one. 23s to 27 sell two. Both the three and ten year off on Monday. 24, 28 buy one or number one. So 17 to 21 buy one. 9 to 13 buy two. Looking at gold, my gold has gotten hit. We came in today on gold, uh, and we were expecting the market to sell. When we yesterday, uh, we had, they said four billion dollars dumped into the market at the market, um, and it usually lasts for a couple of three days. So we were very interested in selling the market today. Lower high, lower low. Find a place to sell it on the F1 screen again today. Looking at the F2 screen, definitely a B. So 73, 75, sell one, and is resistance. And then 78 to 80, sell two. On the buy side, 65, 67, buy one. And 60, 62, buy two. Everybody has said that if we can stay above 62, gold can rally back. We'll see if that actually happens. Try to trade it too. Crude oil. I put an article up by Carolyn Glick on what Qatar has done for um, the um, Shia. Muslims and for terrorism around the globe and across the world. They are also are Al Jazeera TV, which fans the flames every time they get a chance. Hey, crude oil trading range on F1, F2, um, a P, yeah, add them all in there. Actually, it's leaning B. So we came in wanting to sell 46, 46 and a quarter. I think the high was 18, and Kevin got 
a short off at 17 that he called before the fact with a high of 18. That's pretty darn good. 45 and a quarter, 45, 50, buy one, like the short side, 44, 75, 45, even buy two. Baker Hughes rig count was, showed more rigs, more production coming on in the United States. And I had an article out there two days ago about new technology that's going to open up uh, the formations that are unpressurized great big pools of basically tar and they've got ways to loosen that up and start to produce that so and I think it added something like three trillion <laughs> uh, barrels of uh, reserves if they were to produce that in the United States North America Canada that's a lot we said that was like 300 years of usage at today's rates Everybody has gold in the backyards. It's just that it's not economic to produce it yet. If the price got high enough, they would, could produce it in your backyard. And we can't ever forget that. Substitution, technological advances, uh, new discoveries. Bring the cost of commodities in real dollars, unimpacted by inflation, down over time. Lower high, lower low in the euro, find a place to sell it. They weren't too excited about um, the elections. Uh, they're probably telling us that uh, Brexit will continue. Um, we had circled 11.75, maybe a support. We were right there when we opened this morning. They did get stops below the Globex low, and that was it. We were hoping to buy 11.50s, but we did circle 75. Uh, we wanted to sell 90s to 112 even. We did give it up to 12.08. So we got pretty close in the euro. Right now we're selling, um, yeah, we'll make it 1215s, 1225s, sell one. 1240, 1250, sell two. On the buy side, 1175, buy one. And 1150, buy two. And that's it for this June the 9th. I hope you all have a great weekend. We're going to heat up. We're going to be in the 90s here for the next five to seven days starting tomorrow. Definitely summertime. And uh, I'm going to enjoy it. I like the warm weather. I like the cold weather. And everything in between. I get tired of it if it goes on for too long. But everything in moderation, right? Uh, we had a great day trading today, uh, and uh, hopefully we'll have it again next week. Uh, it was uh, Daniel Silva's The Black Widow. If you like thrillers, I mean, it's just really, really well written. It's out in paperback right now. Probably one of the best thrillers I've read uh, in the last four or five years. Um, it's not a book filled with cliches. So many of these things that you buy up, and it's... This rah-rah, this manly stuff like that. One cliche after another. And that's what I really liked Vince Flynn books. Uh, because um, it, a lot more realistic and uh, rang a lot truer than some gung-ho rah-rah stuff that's used on basic recruits uh, to get them going. So Daniel Silva writes great books. Uh, uh, his hero, uh, Gabriel Alon, is not as um, uh, gritty uh, at the point of inflection where people are eliminated or taken out as Mitch Rapp was. So uh, it's a little bit more refined. If Mitch Rapp offended your offensibilities, Gabriel Alon will not. So with that said, I will bid you all adieu. I'll see you bright and early Monday morning.